Hey yo, what's up? And happy 2021. It's Shortcake and I've been getting a lot of questions about what programs I use to animate and how I actually do it. Well, now I can show this video to those knowledge thirsty people because today I'ma summarize how I make animations without using any animation program. All you need is a drawing program with layers and video editing software. Oh yeah, and this video is sponsored by Gamon, and I use their tablet to make the animation, storyboard, and reference. Stay till the end of the video for exclusive codes that will give you a free product with your purchase of this tablet. Okay, so first off, I make a reference sheet. I take any character and make a character turnaround or at least some drawings to help me familiarize myself with it. This way, I won't have too much of a struggle when actually moving their bodies. It's one thing to draw them once in an illustration, but it's a completely different ballpark to animate them multiple times in different perspectives and movements. This here is Shortcake, and she has a new redesign. Basically what quarantine does to our hair from staying in for months at a time. Next up, I make some scribbles inside a ton of rectangles, also known as a storyboard. I made a whole storyboard for an entire animation, but for this video, we'll just animate two of those rectangles. Cause I'm lazy and I don't want to do the whole thing. You think I got time for that? I'd rather finish up rewatching Attack on Titan. Gotta catch up for season 4, you know? Now, for the animation. I usually use 1280 by 720 pixels for my canvas as it is the standard YouTube video size. I start with the tip of the head by drawing a rainbow. I lower the opacity of it, then in another layer, I redraw that rainbow but slightly higher. Next up, I use a red pencil to make the head and facial features, but this is only a sketch to help guide me with the rest of the animation. I copy paste this head into different layers but I make them in slightly different heights. This guide helps me keep the head solid and consistent and avoids making her look like she's a melting Spongebob popsicle. Now I'm saving these different frames into separate images. Notice that I keep them all the same name, but I order them with different numbers, saving them as poop1, poop2, poop3, and so forth. This is not only to help me organize my frames, but to also put them into a free program called Animation Size Assistant 2. This program is a great way to easily put your animation into a looped GIF format and find any mistakes or inconsistencies. However, there is only a max amount of frames I could put in before it starts bugging, so I only keep this for short segments of animation. Continuing on my animation, I use black lines and basically ink over the red sketch. I just try to keep in mind about hair gravity and apply it to her hair though I'm not the best at it. After inking every frame, I go ahead and color with a fill bucket. Pretty self-explanatory. Anybody could do it. Oh yeah, and I found a neat trick to help make the characters look more lively with minimal shading. I just color in the lines with a dark color and I leave the outer edges black to make it look a bit like a sticker. And there you have it, shortcake and her hair flopping up and down. I slip the frames into a video editing software, add some edgy music to it, Maybe slap on a background and then boom! It's a pretty easy process. I did this when I was like 11, so I think you could do it too. Get ready kiddos, cause now it's time to review the Gaumon M10K 2018 pen tablet. Okay, so I've had this tablet since July 2020, so I have plenty of experience with it. As a first impression, this tablet is huge, like as big as my laptop screen. But this makes it perfect since it makes it easier to navigate around the screen. My first ever tablet, which I got in 2014, was the Wacom Intuos, but it's very tiny and in a square shape. The Gaumon M10K 2018 pen tablet is definitely a lot more spacious and comfortable. Unlike that Intuos with only 4 express key buttons, this one has 10 customizable keys. IB present buttons here and there, it's really convenient honestly. Physically, this tablet is light but also very sturdy. Since it's not too big, it makes it a lot easier to bring around with me. In 2020, I had to move like 3 times but despite that, this tablet withstood the moves. Just don't drop your pen on hard cement floors. Speaking of pen, the pen was pretty good with its 8000 192 levels of pressure. It has this really interesting hoop on the end, which I assume could have keychains on it. Or maybe I could put it on a hook. 
The stylus also came in this very neat felt pouch. But for me, I just put my stylus in the tag that's on the side of the tablet since it's quicker to whip out. It's this little fabric thingy where I slide my stylus in. However, it's not that sturdy since sometimes my stylus slips out. And that's how I accidentally broke it on my garage floor. <laughs> my bad. Besides the pen, the box that the tablet came with has a bunch of items, which is probably a special gift for me. This includes a felt pocket filled with a plastic baggie containing extra nibs and a metal ring that can take off the nib, a drawing glove with a thin, silky material, kinda like satin, a drawstring bag, which seems like the same material as the glove, but it can fit the tablet in quite snugly and a couple of papers with printed ink on it. Would I recommend this tablet? If it's for beginners or those who wants to start doing digital art, heck yeah. It's literally half the price of the smaller Wacom tablet I got years ago, which was a little over a hundred bucks. And this tablet does the job, as clearly seen with all these drawings I made. Pretty cool, right? I made all of these with just this tablet, and you can too. Really? Of course, with a lot of determination, practice, suffering, and a drawing tablet, you can become an animator like me. Oh yeah, and Gamon sent me a video which basically explains how you can get some free goodies with your purchase of the tablet. When you click on the first link in the description which sends you to the Amazon website, just scroll down, choose between free nibs, a free drawing glove, or 50% off an extra pen, tap on add both to cart, proceed to checkout, deliver to your address, Choose your delivery options, and on the top of add a payment method, you'll see that the promo is applied. So yeah, there you have it. So we've now reached the end of the video, and thanks for watching. Wait, I just recently launched my Patreon page. Feel free to subscribe to me on there and support the future of this channel. Any dollar helps, and you'll even get to see work in progress shots of my animations. Heck, if you just subscribe for $1 a month, you'll get your name on the end card of the videos I make. The next animation is gonna be hecka cool, so I highly suggest you sub to my Patreon right now to get your name immortalized on that video. Okay, see ya!